Welcome, my name is Abi Odom from Kawtech Academy. In this video, we'll be looking at how to impute mathematical calculations or equations or any mathematical expression into your slide. In most instances, some of the teachers are teaching calculation-based subjects. And if you're somebody like that, you actually need to know how to impute your mathematical expressions or calculations in the slide for your students. For example, let's see how we can create and impute mathematical expressions or calculations into our slides. For this, let me start with a new slide. I'll go to new slide. I'll choose blank. In order for us to actually impute or insert any calculation into our slide, we need to create a text box in which the calculation will stay in. So let's go to insert, go to text box, then let's click and drag this. So for us to impute or insert any equation at all, you need to go back to insert and under symbol segments on this insert tab, you have equation. For you to see other menu that are contained in this, just click on this small black triangle and it will show you some of the equations you can impute into your slide. For us, we want a custom equation. So I'll just go down to where we have insert new equation. And if you want to see other options that we have here, you can just click on this and you can see other arrays of options that you have. But for us, let us go to insert new equation. Let's click on it. And here you have two extra tabs that has been created on PowerPoint for us. One is the drawing tools where we can format our equation when we have finished typing it in. And the other one is the equation tools, which is for writing out our equation or designing it. We have various options here, but for this training, I just want to show you how to impute fraction. So I can go to this and we have options. We have this and we have skewed format. We have the linear fraction and we have this small fraction. I'll go with this tagged fraction. So I'll just click on it. And immediately you can see the effect in the text box. So I'll just click inside one of this box and type in 3x. I can use my keyboard down arrow to move to the next box or I can just click inside it. For this, let me move down with my down arrow, 3x over 4. So that is how you can actually impute equations or fractions or whatever calculation you want inside your slide this is the end of this video please share this video to others who might need it and of course if you have any inquiry please reach me on the number that you are seeing on the screen now thank you